Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about using multiple displays with either your game console or your PC or different devices. You can use it with phones too if you wanted to or even just using one portable monitor. Now I use different setups on a daily basis. I love portable monitors and multiple displays because I can move around. I don't have to be confined to just one space. So if I'm down here in my studio space and I'm filming, I don't have to just be at my desk. I can move everything over to my portable desk right here that I film on. I have a little workbench desk that I can move everything over to very easily there. The downside to this setup is I end up with a ton of cables kind of just thrown all over the place and they all look similar. So it's hard to trace what goes where. So if I have a portable monitor like this one right here, I use this all the time for my live streams. Uh, and in fact, for my live streams, I'll use my TV that's located behind the camera so I can monitor myself. But then I also have one close by so I can actually read the live stream comments in the live chat. Um, so having these multiple displays into the mix is great, but again, tons of cables. So for this to work over here, my portable monitor, I have to have two cables. I have to have a USB-A to USB-C to actually power the monitor. So that's one cable. I have to have an HDMI cable like this to actually connect that over to my PC. And then in order to connect over to the TV behind the camera, I have to have another HDMI cable to actually power the mini PC that I use or whatever PC I decide to go on. I have to have a power supply cable for that as well. Have that right here. So now we're up to four cables. I have a keyboard that has a cable as well. If I used a mouse that was, you know, wired in, I would have another cable there. And, you know, anything else that I decide to bring into the mix. If I decide to game in the live stream, that's more cables I have to bring in for controllers um, or for an external SSD. So it just ends up being you know, an absolute mess. And you can see right here what a mess it is. All these look the same. It's hard to trace what goes where. So I've been looking for a solution to that, something to simplify my setup. And I found this amazing product from Minix. Now, Minix also makes portable monitors. They're absolutely phenomenal. And I'm going to actually demo this with this entire setup today. This is the Minix SF16 series portable display monitor. This is a 16 inch uh, 1080p, I believe. Is it 1080p? 1920 by 1200 resolution. So um, 16, 10 aspect ratio on there as well. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna actually unbox that. I have another one, but I'm gonna unbox this one with you guys here on screen. We'll take a closer look at it and you'll get to see what everything is like on there. But these products right here are where it's really at. These simplify your process here, make your setup so much easier to maintain and these eliminate the use of HDMI cables. So we have two products because one works for certain devices, the other works for other types. So the first one here is the H1, wireless HDMI to HDMI dongle. This uses 1080p resolution. So what this does is you have a transmitter and a receiver. So one end will plug into your device. So in this case, a mini gaming PC, it'll plug into the HDMI port on the back side. The other end of this will go into your portable display monitor or TV, and you will be able to wirelessly transmit your signal all the way over there without a cable going across your desk or across your room in some cases. So that's one product. The other one is the Minix C1 wireless USB-C to 1080p HDMI dongle. So over here, rather than two HDMI connections, one is type C. You can plug that into any device that uses a type C connection. So Let's take a iPhone 15, for example, plug that right into your iPhone 15. Other end is going to go into your portable monitor or TV, and you will transmit the signal right over there. The cool thing about this is it's plug and play. No firmware or software is needed to make these work. It's full HD resolution, and you also have a range of up to 164 feet, which I think is much further than anybody would ever be, you know, between devices. So awesome setup here. I'm going to unbox everything. I'm going to set it up with you guys and show you exactly how easy it is to use and how effective it is. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, we're going to start by unboxing the Minix SF16 series portable monitor. This is a 16 inch portable monitor. And if we flip this over, we have a resolution of 1920 by 1200 refresh rate of 60 Hertz and a ratio of 1610 on here. So I'm going to start unboxing this. We'll take a look at what it offers us. All right, so we have a little carrying case inside here. Actually, I'll set that aside for right now. Here is the actual monitor, and I wanna take a look at the manual first, see what that offers us. So if we thumb through here, it does show us how we can go ahead and connect 
different devices over to this. And we have a bunch of different options in terms of how we could go about connecting everything over. It shows how to connect game consoles, PCs, um, smartphones, just tons and tons of options here. And there's a lot of variations to the setup. So we're going to dive into that momentarily. Over here, we have a couple different ways to actually power this. So I love the fact that they have different options built into this. So right here we have different adapters that we can connect over. It's going to have the US adapter by default though. So right here is the one for the United States, two prongs. So this is a 33 watt quick charger. We have a USB-C connection and a USB-A connection on here. So love how easy that is, and I love how it retracts back into to keep it nice and safe. We have a ton of cables in here. So if we want to use these, we certainly can. We don't have to incorporate these into the mix, but I'm going to do that today to obviously show you guys the capabilities there. So we have USB-A to USB-C. We have a USB-C to USB-C. We have regular HDMI to regular HDMI and then another type C to type C cable. So they've got your bases covered with literally everything that's included here. This is phenomenal to have this many things included with a portable monitor. But let me get rid of all this stuff and I wanna show you guys the monitor itself now. So here is our monitor and I'm going to, inside here we just have a little carrying case. I'm going to rest it down on this, but super glossy finish on here. You can see the, uh, the glare as I pick up the lights overhead, but Really glossy, looks absolutely amazing without even being powered on yet. But let's flip this over to the backside. We know it's 16 inches. We know about the resolution and aspect ratio. But on the backside, we have ports located on both ends. And right over here on this end, you can see that we have our headphones. We have our power supply, USB-C, and our HDMI port. And this is a full-size regular HDMI port over here. So that's always convenient. I know a lot of these monitors use minis, which can be you know, a little bit more of a challenge to actually locate if you ended up in a situation where you forgot one. The minis are much harder to find. So I always like to have regular ones just in case I have to replace it someday. Uh, it's easy to do that. Now over here, we have our volume controls up and down. We have our power button, and then we also have a USB 3 port over here at the uh, bottom. Now on the back side, right here in the middle, you notice that we have a kickstand that comes out, and it's really nicely put together. It's fully adjustable, so you can adjust the pitch of your monitor by simply deciding how far out you want to pull this. Now the bottom of this, a little bit hard to see because it's black on black, but is rubber, so it's non-skid. So I can put this down here. I'll remove that put this on a hard surface and I can't push this. I'm literally pushing my entire desk because it grips onto the surface so nicely. So there's no risk of this sliding. It stays put. I'm trying to actually pull this and it's actually hard to pull this now across the desk because of that rubber uh, end to this. Now, what I was talking about with adjusting the pitch is if I want this to be as far back and as laid out as possible for viewing, I leave it right there. If I want to make this more of an upright position, I just simply pull the kickstand in a little bit, and now this is a more of a vertical setup. And you can see it from this angle a little bit better. That's more vertical, and I just open this up more to kick it back, depending on you know my height. And if I'm filming a screen, I love to be able to do that to reduce glare. So love the capabilities of the monitor, but we're going to go ahead and connect this over to, actually, I'll use the uh, H1 wireless HDMI to HDMI dongle to connect this over to my PC, and we'll test everything out. All right, so we got our monitor over here, ready to go. Now let's go ahead and open up. This is our H1 from Minix. And again, this is the wireless HDMI to HDMI dongle using 1080p. So we'll go ahead and unbox this. And here are all of our cables right there. We have a little carrying case that's included, a little key if we ever need to reset or open anything up. And then we have our user guide right on the back side there. So we'll open up the user guide, easily walks through exactly what we need to do in order to set everything up. And it comes in a bunch of different languages. So we have English, German. On the back side, we have French, Spanish, and Italian. So they definitely have your bases covered here. I'm gonna set that aside. And then over here, we have our two cables. So one's a transmitter, one's a receiver. And then if we look closely on here, it'll tell you TV monitor right here. So we know that this is gonna to go to our TV or monitor. So we have our Minix monitor right here. I'm gonna to go to the side with the HDMI port on it, and I'm going to simply plug that in. There we go. And then this has a USB-A connection on it. 
So all we have to do from that point is plug that into the back side over here. And there we go. So that cable just loops around the back side. You see we have the connections on both ends. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our other cable. And this one is labeled as computer. So we know that that's going to plug into the back side of our computer. And then we have the USB-A that's going to plug into the computer as well to actually provide the power. So here I have my mini gaming PC. I'm going to simply, I shall do everything on the back side. So I have a USB 3 port on the back. And then my HDMI is going to go directly below that right back here. So you can see the cable just winds itself up right in the back like that. Very compact, very easy to store back there. I'll actually just loop it through ever so slightly and it'll keep its form. You can see much sleeker design here. We don't have cables all over the place. So I'm going to power everything on and you'll be able to see my computer boot up right over here as soon as I uh, get my cables attached to the backside. All right guys, so I got everything connected. I'm gonna go ahead and power on my computer right here. And we should see everything populate into the monitor momentarily. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and advance us in. We can see that everything is actually registering on here. We're able to get this booted up on the monitor, but I'm going to enter into Windows 11 and we'll uh, do some demos with this. Hey, what's up everybody, Richard Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to unbox, demo, and review this mini PC right here. This is the Ace PC Powerbox Pro Mini PC. This offers us an Intel i5-12450H processor, 8 cores, 12 threads. All right, guys, you can see exactly how well everything works, how efficient everything is, and how we no longer have to have those annoying cables now in our setup. So we do still have this option right here, which I'll go ahead and unbox for you guys. Now, I don't have any devices that I could connect over to demo this with a Type-C connection, but I'll at least show you guys you know, what the options look like within. So we'll go ahead and unbox this, and it's gonna be laid out very much the same exact way. Oh. <clears throat> Only the difference now is we have this dongle right here, which connects via type C connection as opposed to HDMI connection. So the other cable is going to be pretty much exactly the same. That's going to get plugged into the monitor's HDMI port. Other end is going to, that actually powers it, is going to be a USB A connection. So it will plug into the monitor the exact same way as what I showed you guys. And this is going to function the same way as well. It's just a different connection here. So everything would go straight over to the monitor. 
All right, guys, I had a phenomenal experience with these products from Minix. Now, I love this portable monitor. This is a 16-inch monitor, amazing resolution and picture quality. It's super glossy, so I do apologize for all the glare on there. Uh, I have lights literally all over this room, so when it is glossy like that, I do get a little bit of glare, but the kickstand on the back that adjusts the pitch of the monitor definitely helps with that quite a bit. So I only had one glare in the demo shots, but phenomenal experience here. I love that we have all the ports on one side and then we have all the buttons to manage our settings and make adjustments on the other side. So you can adjust your brightness, you can adjust your volume, all of that externally. You don't have to go through a bunch of windows. You can just simply hit your buttons on the side and adjust accordingly. So I love that option with this. And then of course the dongles here, amazing experience. For me, it makes sense to eliminate some of the cables because I'm constantly moving my setups around. Um, having you know a couple less uh, cables is a home run for me. Now for the demos that I shot today, I jumped into one of my YouTube videos and I filmed uh, you know what the experience was like over there. And then I jumped into some retro games as I was playing along and I filmed the experience there. Now, if you were to use this with modern day games or you were to hook this up to like a modern Xbox or PlayStation console, you would likely experience some minor lags and delays from what you're doing with your controller to it actually jumping over to the monitor. So I wouldn't recommend it for modern day gaming. I would recommend it more for the older stuff, which is why I jumped into NES, Super Nintendo, uh, and stuff like that. And I had a good experience over there. I also edited a video with this. I went through my YouTube channel and I did some of the stuff on the back end for one of my video premieres. So for everyday PC usage, this is a phenomenal option. Video editing, surfing the web, um, watching YouTube videos, all that stuff is a great experience. So definitely consider this as a option for you, depending on what setups you have or what you're looking to do. But I'll put, provide you guys with some links up here at the top of your screen, as well as in the description of this video, Click over, see what Minix has to offer you. But I had a great experience here, so all thumbs up from me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comment section below. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.